From the infamous Miss Pac-Man game to pinball machines, the Up Down Arcade St. Louis has more than 60 arcade games from the 80s and 90s for everyone to enjoy. Joining us to share more is the general manager of Up Down Arcade Bar St. Louis, Joey Akers. Hi, Joey. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Gosh, really fun place to be. Tell us about the arcade bar. How long have you been with the organization? So I've been with Up Down for about four years now. Uh, I helped open the Kansas City location and worked there for a few years and then started on this project uh, about two years ago and, and kind of back and forth since then. So. I want to know, how does one get a job in, you know, arcading? Is this like a dream job? Did you, did you have to, like, uh, beg somebody, <laughs> It was hard to say no to when it came up. You know, I, I definitely had to convince my wife a little bit that I should uh, work late nights and play with arcade games. But uh, no, it just kind of happened for me. I knew, I knew the people who were opening uh, the Des Moines location, and I was in Kansas City, and it just kind of came together. And I'd, I'd worked in bars and restaurants as a young man, and I loved it, but I also kind of was happy to make a change after college. And I saw up down Des Moines, and <laughs> I, I've never seen something like it. So it just it drew me in and went from there. That's pretty cool. And you're a gamer, correct? I am, yeah, yeah. I wish I had more time for games at this point, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I definitely am. Um, what is the, the, the difference between um, the up-down Arcade St. Yeah. Louis versus maybe the other locations, Des Moines, you mentioned, Kansas yeah. City? Yeah, so they're all a little different. They all kind of reflect a little bit of the local culture and, and the local scene, and they're all just they t kind of take the building's natural character and, and run with it. So you'll have nooks and crannies, you'll have different layers, you'll have different courtyards. They're very, they're very unique in how they're, how they're built and put together, but they're all kind of in the same vein. The art's similar, the neons are similar, the games obviously combine everything. We're really kind of craft beer focused. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of similarities, but we're kind of allowed to make a unique creative space in every, cool. every city we go to. So. And you mentioned earlier uh, yeah. that, that St. Louis has some unique games. That yes. Maybe the other locations. Yes, and I'm still learning some of those because I have never had them in Kansas City. So <laughs> there's a few unique ones here that people have to come check out. I think one of the biggest ones is we have a Dance Dance Revolution, and there was a line for it the other oh, day. Oh man! I, 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 I it was pretty amazing to see how many people were waiting in line to play that game. <laughs> Usually, if a game's busy, people will come back to it, but there was just a line for it. It was, it was pretty cool to see that. So. Is there a, a popular, most popular game that does <clears throat> typically have a line? Uh, people waiting and yeah, you know. well, that's a new one for me. But we have uh, we have, ski ball gets played a lot. We have six uh, six long thirteen foot ski ball lanes that are traditional, the ones that used to be in the old arcades. We've collected those, and those are pr pretty hard to find now too. But we've got a bunch of those. We've got twelve pinball machines that are in beautiful condition. Yeah, and then just some of the classic games get you know when people come to an old arcade bar, you know they want to see the games <laughs> they remember. So you know some of the all the traditional you know Pac Man, Galaga's, those are all available too. So. So this is, as we mentioned, some older games. This yeah. whole environment is, is uh, a retro experience, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, kind of designed for that older crowd that maybe grew up with arcades. Yeah, it's, it's that plus craft beer and a cocktail <laughs> if you want. So uh, yeah, it's really, the, the wall art is nostalgic. There's neons. It's, it's meant to be a, like an immersive experience, a nostalgic experience. You walk in and it's just overwhelming how much how much it takes you back to that feeling when you were 12 years old and you wanted to go play those arcade games. And it's, it's a really beautiful space and a really, really cool experience when you walk into it. And I also heard that there may be an N64 console somewhere in this building. Is that correct? That's correct. We have a projector up with a 64 attached to it, and you can play a variety of games. We're going to continue to work on adding our collection to a few more, but we've got some right now. We have, to, we have a Dreamcast outside for a projector out there, too. Oh, sorry, uh, a GameCube outside. When, oh, the, when the weather's nice, you can play Smash, and you can play uh, fun games out there, too, in the courtyard. I got to know. Yeah. Is GoldenEye at Up Down Arcade? It will be. I, ha I, have it, I have it in Kansas City. I need to collect a few more 64 games, but we'll, we'll have probably 15 or 20 of them at one point, and people can swap them out and play whatever they want. We'll put a list up, and they'll, they'll play everything from, you know, uh, Kart to Smash to GoldenEye to Raw, Wrestling, whatever they want to play. It's pretty cool. Multiplayer GoldenEye is where yeah. it's at. Yep. Yep. Uh, but we'll be definitely be talking more about this uh, yeah. in a break coming up. Yeah. But uh, definitely we've got more to talk about. Let's uh, stay with us here at STL Live. We'll learn more about Up Down Arcade St. Louis after this break.